In the ninth race of the ADAC GT Master season at the Lausitz Ring, Porsche driver Christian Engelhardt starts the race from pole position for the first time this year. Championship leader Raffaele Marciello in the yellow Mamba Mercedes is only 10th. It's a good start for Engelhardt, who sets the pace at the front, followed by Patrick Niederhauser and Albert Costa Balboa. Marciello is moving forward, already up to sixth place after a good start, but is overtaken by fellow Mercedes driver Marvin Dienst, who keeps the power on, soon passing Tim Zimmerman. The orange and black Audi misses the breaking point. Marciello says thank you very much and pushes the yellow Mamba to P6, while Arthur Rougier and Consa Lapalainen also pass Zimmerman. Albert Costa Balboa is at full throttle out of turn one, but Marcus Winkelhock closes up and touches the Lamborghini. Costa Balboa spins, but is able to cut across the grass and retain third place. After the driver changes, Porsche continues to lead with Ian Chen Guven, followed by Luca Engsler in the Audi. Two rookies at the top of the rankings before Engsler makes a mistake and Jack Aitken is through to second place. There's a duel for the podium. Marco Mapelli wants to pass Luca Engsler, fighting lap after lap along the pit straight. Mapelli makes it through on the inside and jumps onto the podium together with his teammate Max Paul. At the top, Aitken is again close to Guven, but his drifting does not impress his teammate Albert Costa Balboa. Ian Chen Guven and Christian Engelhardt win at the Lausitz Ring. Jack Aitken and Albert Costa Balboa second, despite the spin shortly before the end. Mapelli and Paul finish in third. In the second round of the ADAC GT Masters at the Lausitz Ring, it's a close race right from the start. Nicky Katzberg defends his pole position ahead of Sven Muller, while last year's winner Christopher Mies in the orange and black Audi passes Jack Aitken into the first turn. Looking from on board, Mies makes no mistake with the pass. The fight for fifth place is really heating up. Christopher Haaser in the Monteplast Audi has more pace than Einstein Guven and moves up one place. Guven, who is second overall, is still under pressure. The Turkish driver opens the door just a bit too wide and Jules Gounon is through. Guven falls back further and further. It gets even worse for the Porsche. After the driver changes, championship leader Raffaele Marciello returns to the track just ahead of Christian Engelhardt. The race suddenly takes an unexpected twist. The leading Katzberg misses the pit stop window and is too late for the driver change. A drive-through penalty for Team Schubert hands the lead to Tim Zimmerman, who has taken over from Christopher Mises' Audi. Shortly before the end, the battle for third place heats up again. Patrick Niederhauser in a duel with Joel Sturm. The Audi retains the upper hand, but his car is now starting to smoke. From behind, Kim Louis Schramm also first catches the Porsche and then the Audi. But it's not over yet. Sturm collides with Niederhauser and there's a spin. Meanwhile, Schramm loses power and drops back. Raffaele Marciello and Sturm pass. Marciello doesn't need an invitation and claims third place. With Joel Sturm being among the spinners, Christian Engelhardt inherits fourth place in what was a turbulent race. Zimmerman and Mies take victory at the Lausitz Ring after an exciting race. Marciello leads the overall standings by 10 points ahead of Engelhardt and Guven.